Now we're going to create another digital asset out of the system we just built in Houdini. So we're going to select all of the nodes in the instancing system. We're going to create digital asset. We're going to call it populate. And we're going to make sure that it's going into dollar hip, HDA, and it will go into that location there and press accept. Uh, and for now we're just going to press accept and go and see what this um, tool does. So in the content browser, let's go back up to the top level content where we put the building asset. Uh, and then we're going to import uh, the populate. Drag it uh, from the content browser over and it'll take a second to cook and now we see our grid uh, inside Unreal. Now let's save and just press play to just walk around and see what that looks like. So we've got a whole bunch of shapes in here um, that are all randomized uh, with their scale and orientation uh, and that's all as a result of the little network that was built. Now the normals are a little off on this so we can fix that uh, and we can also um, you know, begin to enhance what this asset does. So if we press escape, uh, we get back to here, go back to Houdini, uh, go into the subnetwork, and we're going to move this off to the side, and we're going to just put a normal node um, underneath the original shape so that that shape is working. And we're going to go uh, save asset, populate, and if we rebuild there, you'll see that the normals are properly set up on that on the objects now. The thing that we want to do next, though, is we want to uh, edit some of the properties. Um, and just like we did before, we want to, to add some parameters we can play with on the asset. So we're going to bring over the size. And we're going to bring over, let's say, the number of scatter points, because that's something we might want to control. Um, we'll just call that number of instances, or number of, yeah, number of instances. Uh, then we can bring over the relax iterations, uh, maybe maximum relax radius, and anyway, you can bring over however many parameters you want. Press accept. We go up above. We'll see those parameters there. Double click in to go and look back at the network. Uh, when we now go to uh, Unreal and we rebuild that asset, you're going to see that those parameters we just built are available for manipulation here, just like they were with the building. So we can go back to here and we can say, okay, we want to make that uh, 8 or 10. Uh, oh, maybe we don't want to go in that direction. Let's go to 8 in that direction and then we'll go in this direction. Maybe we'll go uh, 10. That spreads those out. Maybe we don't want 250 pieces. Maybe we only want 200. And we can play with relaxation on that if we want. Maybe we want to relax it a little bit less. So all of that can be manipulated here. And what's happening is, uh, again, is the host application is talking to Houdini. Houdini's cooking the nodes and giving the results back. So this Houdini engine allows you to have that interconnection between the two. And there we go. So that's the um, that's the system right there.